This website that we're using has online uh, built-in discussion tools in it, which means that as you're reading, you can po <coughs> excuse me, post a comment, and you can share that comment with the whole class. You will be doing that. And then the class can read and respond to your comments, your questions, and you can read and respond to other comments and questions. This video is going to be how to go about doing that. Um, and actually the camera is upside down right now, or I'm using the document camera as a web camera in order for it to film me right side up. It's actually upside down right now, and I'm going to show you that in a second. So I'm going to switch the camera. Now we are upside down. Scroll down to here. Boom. There we are, right side up. The camera froze there for a second. I don't understand why. Okay, so on this article self assessment rubric, you will be doing one of these each time that we read an article. You will be turning these into me. However, I will not be grading them. This is for you to monitor your own le learning. Um, and as I collect them, I will keep them and then hand them back for the next time that we do this. <coughs> um, and we'll ha have this as a process going back and forth between um, what you've done in the past, what you're doing right now, and showing the progression of our learning along the way. So there are four sections to this. Posts, replies, mechanics, and norms. Now the norms, um, we haven't yet set group norms for discussion, and we will after the first one. So posts. There are three options here. I did not post a question or comment today. My questions or comments were related to the text. My questions or comments use words from the story, textual evidence, to make the question clear or support my opinion. So you'll be picking one of these um, based upon what you did. There's no reason to inflate and say, yes, I did this, when maybe really you didn't. <coughs> Most people are going to be in this box because connecting to textual evidence is a little bit harder to do and we'll do that um, as the time goes on. So I expect most people to be about here. Ideas on how I can improve is the next little section here and I want you to be honest on this and think about what you can do to improve um, where you are in how you posted comments today in the store um, for the text such as you didn't do it or you did but and you tried to connect it to text using textual evidence but you haven't done that before and so maybe you just want more practice doing that um, or grammar which is something we'll go through later. The next portion replies. This is replying to your friends posts. So as we have these discussions we can have student a, post a topic here, and then beneath, student B can reply, and then student C can reply, and then student A can weigh back in, and so forth. Then also the teacher can comment. Okay, And so as we have these discussions, I want you to monitor how you're replying to your friends. So I did not reply to a co uh, post today, to another post today. My reply was connected to the original post or question. My <coughs> this means that it's not something silly or off topic. Um, my reply provided a new idea or point of view to the post or question. That means that you were not only on topic but that you added something to the conversation. You didn't say, yes, I agree. You said, yes, I agree. However, have we thought about this sort of a thing? And again, ideas on how I can improve. Okay. The next page, mechanics. Mechanics are grammar, and I'm going to be using the term mature. Okay. How mature was my writing? Did you take the time to write a complete sentence? Um, capital, letters, W, H, so forth, period. So 
um, subject uh, predicate sort of a thing. Post and reply started with capitals, ended with a period. It was understandable to the reader. My posts and replies were understandable to the reader and showed effort of revision and attention to grammar. This is again perhaps the more advanced one that not many people will be at right now. But an example, when I say mature writing, an example of what we don't want is writing that is um, kind of popular or social writing. We want to practice what we would do for, say, a job interview. And ideas on how I can improve, ideas on how you might be able to prove something like spelling or, um, again, writing complex or simple sentences. And then last, what you will be doing is that you will be connecting what you have written to the classroom norms that we will be establishing for our discussions. Okay? And norms can be things like, um, <coughs> excuse me, things like, I did not post anything mean today. I said supportive stuff. Um, it can be things like, I stayed on topic, and so forth. Thank you.